everybody, welcome back. Here we are, week two, talking about self-care. Really, really important. We got to get this for us, okay? So I'm so excited to be talking to you about this. I'm Andrea Christian Parks, and we are going to talk about self-care for another few weeks. I, you know, I really wanted to get into why, why, like why? Because we tend to think self-care is something that is for other people. I just don't have time. There's just not, you know, enough hours in the day. I'm too busy. Other people can, but I can't. Or that's for people who have a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources. And, you know, I'm at my limits with what I can do. I can't add one more thing. And self-care is at the very bottom of my list. So here's here's the thing I want to remind you about self-care. And this is really, really important. Self-care is just recognizing that you are human and you have needs and those needs need to be met. So that is a really easy way to recognize that you are just like everybody else. It, we have no trouble getting this concept when we think about other people, right? Think about it for a second. If you think about your partner, your children, elderly family members, people at church, your friends, coworkers sometimes even. No problem if they say, hey, I need help with, do you mind if, how, can I have, I mean, you, if you don't get that question from your children 900 times a day, I don't know. I just don't know. But, you know, when we think about ourselves, we forget that we have needs. And so our needs can be real, real basic. They could just be, I need to wash my hair. I need to take a shower and I need to get enough sleep. I need to feed myself real food. <laughs> like something I actually thought about um, in advance. It's like that, that concept of taking care of yourself is put in the back of your mind. Because you think everything else is more important, but it's not. And, and let me tell you why. The reason why self-care matters is because you matter. Let that sink in for a minute. You matter. You know, sometimes I think we make it easier to rationalize when it's something... Um, external, like, um, oh, I got my nails done. I got my new purse. I, you know, I splurged on this. I did that. It's this external, see, I took care of myself kind of rationalization. Girl, I deserve that. Yes. And that's all great. You, you got it, work it. But there's more to it than that. I think sometimes we forget that when we are trying to develop something in ourselves, trying to change something, trying to lose weight, trying to build a business, trying to um, become a different kind of wife or mother or friend, that those things require effort, energy, focus. And it's a process of us growing. It's investing in us. So whatever we do to make that come about that's self-care if that's creating a meal plan if that's packing food if that is um getting a coach to help you to lose your weight or to help you to build the relationship that you want to build or help you write a book or whatever it is getting that help is self-care the only way you go get that help, the only way you take that time, the only way you invest that way is because you realize that you matter. So do not discount how critical it is that you remember self-care matters because you matter. When you have what you need, you become, you give, you are able to to expand in a way that you can't if you're running on fumes. So don't put self-care on the back burner. Start thinking about what you might be able to do with that. 
in the future? What might you do tomorrow? What might you do tonight? What might you do this weekend? Just start thinking and I bet you'll be able to find something you can do that nourishes your heart, helps you feel more taken care of, and gets you moving on to the next version of yourself. All right, tell me what you came up with. What did you dream of? What did you think of? How did you incorporate self-care into your week? Just comment in the comments below. Let me know. I want to hear all about it. And don't forget, subscribe and hit your notifications on so that you don't miss one episode. I'm so glad you're here. And we will pick this up next week. Next week, we're going to talk about time, why we don't take time for self-care and how we can do it, even though we think we can. So don't miss it. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.